So um, just look at me. Sound like you're not even here. Okay. I'm just going to ask you a couple questions. Um, first of all, can I have you say and spell your first and last name? Yes. Lee Duckworth, L E E D U C K W O R T H. And where are you from? What organization? The Hampton Roads Naval Museum. Okay. Um, and why are you here today? Two reasons. First, uh, to honor those sailors from the USS Monitor, not only the remains of the two sailors that we have today at the ceremony, but all the sailors that uh, participated in that battle that served on Monitor, and certainly those who lost their lives on December 31st in 1862. And what was the significance, the historical significance of the USS Monitor? The Monitor was unique in a number of ways. Uh, probably the Actually, the most significant to my perspective is it was the, had the turret that was on board. It was the first ironclad that had a, a turret. Uh, all our Navy ships today and ever since have been built with, made out of some sort of metal. Uh, and of course, ships today still have turrets. So it was a, a unique combination that made it, I think, that day in March of 1862, the most powerful warship in the world. What is the significance of um, the Navy kind of laying these, these sailors to rest? Why is this important that we're doing this? I think from the perspective of we want to do that for our sailors. I, I was thinking last night that those two gentlemen have no idea that they would gain such attention, have the Secretary of the Navy speak at a service for them some 150 years later Yet it, it's one of those things as a, a retired Navy man, a retired sailor, I want to be here for them, uh, to honor them, to honor their service and, and for what they went through and, and for that entire crew. Okay. And what's, uh, what's the most important thing for people to know? What do you want um, the general public to kind of take away from this you know, historic event? I think the event today is one that will be a rather somber occasion, but I think people ought to take away the fact that our Navy continues to day in and day out serve in the same manner as these two sailors, as all those sailors in the Monitor did, and that this is just our way of recognizing one day in history, but it really spans decades and decades of, of our naval history, and that we still have men and women in uniform today that that put themselves in harm's way, just as those those two men that we're honoring today did. Okay. Is there anything else you'd like to add, sir? No. That, I think that's good. Okay. Well, thank All you right. so much. That was great. Thank you, Pedro. Stand by. Yep.